Welcome back to the Lenten Lessons in the Mass Premium Edition. I'm so happy I can take time to show you these things and teach you these things. Because I've always been fascinated by the Mass, and once I was ordained as a priest, even more so. Today I want to direct your attention to the tabernacle. Isn't that beautiful? And behind that tabernacle, that golden mosaic of a dove. That's representative of the Holy Spirit. Now, the church teaches us that in our churches, chapels, cathedrals, basilicas, that the tabernacle should be in a place that is conspicuous, which means when you walk in, you should be able to see it. Second, it should be of noble material. And third, it needs to be secure. How is the tabernacle secure here? It's bolted down into the marble. You can't move it, right? You can't move it. The second um, security features, we have a wrought iron fireproof grill over this because if nobody's here, I don't want anyone getting in. It's got a very special lock there. Look at this. Right next to the tabernacle, there is this little gold-covered um, glass of water. It's called a piscina, P-I-S-C-I-N-A, which is a Latin word for pool. It's where the priest would wash his fingers if he touched the Holy Eucharist and he was going to bring the Holy Eucharist to somebody who is sick. All right, that's the little piscina. And next to it is a little white cloth so he can dry his hands. Now, just for you, I'm going to open the tabernacle. In the presence of our Lord, we should always be quiet. If you ever go to St. Peter's Basilica in Rome, to the right, there's this magnificent chapel. It was designed and built by John Lorenzo Bernini. And as you walk in, there's this tall um, curtain from top to bottom, it must be 30 feet tall, made out of dark blue velvet. And above the door, it says silentium, S-I-L-E-N-T-I-U-M. And you don't have to be a Latin scholar to figure out what that means. It means being silent. And how did they enforce the silence there? Nah, there's a few people going shush, 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 shush. But most of all, it's the two unmarked Swiss guards who are standing on either side, and they're big. So you mind your manners. So as you approach the tabernacle, I make a genuflection. I open the tabernacle, and look at that. There's another veil. It's the Holy of Holies. And I part the veils, and here is the ciborium. And it's got yet another veil, because things that are sacred have a veil. And I can take the top off, and there is the Holy Eucharist. That is Jesus Christ truly present. Body, blood, soul, and divinity. Really, truly, and substantially present. We believe it by faith, but those words are true. And what we know by faith is even more certain than what we know by reason. And we keep the Lord here in the tabernacle so that we can visit him daily and also so that we can bring the Holy Eucharist to somebody just in case they're dying. That's called the viaticum, V-I-A-T-I-C-U-M, to go with you. And so priests are always available to bring the Holy Eucharist to people who are sick and dying on their deathbed. I remember as a child, my parents would teach me, look for the candle that's burning in the church. That tells you that Jesus Christ is truly present in the tabernacle. Because there's one day of the year when the tabernacle is empty, and that's from Good Friday in the afternoon until Easter Sunday. This is the vigil lamp. Inside is a candle. It burns for eight days. The outside is red. It doesn't have to be red. It could be blue. It could be no color at all. But it really grabs your attention. And it's like a silent sentinel keeping company with our Lord Jesus Christ, telling you that our Lord Jesus Christ is truly present. That candle is a symbol of the light of Christ. Light attracts. Christ attracts. Joy attracts. Goodness attracts. Mercy and charity and empathy and compassion and humility attract. There's deep, deep meaning in this simple, simple ornament here, but it's very, very important. Did you like what you learned today? Well, there's a lot more where that came from, so stay tuned.